Game of Thrones exhibition, the traveling exhibition, and look at Amelia Clark's Daenerys Targaryen costumes from the last season. And she is a very tiny human being. They're so little. We are in Northern Ireland near Belfast and we are exploring Game of Thrones locations. It's really kind of sunny. Um, and right now we're at King's Road. These beech trees were originally planted in the 18th century. Of the 150 that were planted, only 90 remain. And there's actually a story about a ghost called the Grey Lady that haunts these trees, especially on Halloween. So there's a little like real life tidbit for you. Let's go, let's go check them out.
here's the house that the guy built who originally planted the trees. I can't remember his name right now. I'll write it down below for you. But he built built this house and he built he built this house and he planted all of those trees, those beech trees leading up the road to his house. currently in Ballantoy Harbor. I'm sure that's not how you say it, but this is where a lot of um, the scenes of the Iron Islands and everything were filmed. And it's absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna go check it out. Looks like it's low tide, so we'll see how close we can get to those little islands. <laughs> We're currently at Kushtun Caves, which is where Sir Davos and Melisandre kind of washed ashore and where she gave birth to that shadow baby. And it looks exactly like it does in the film. <laughs> wraps up our Game of Thrones adventure. We were only able to make it to three filming locations, um, but they were awesome. My advice would be to rent a car and then you can spend as long as you want at each place. Go wherever you want, do whatever you want. I'm sure the tours are amazing. That didn't work out for us, so we just rented a car and did it ourselves. And it was really, really cool. Just remember you have to drive on the left-hand side of the road if you do so. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow us on Snapchat and Instagram, and we'll catch you guys next time.